This is a lecture by Faroko Lemmy, narrated by Ungad Buttar. This is the first of two lectures on root cause analysis. Root cause analysis, according to the Joint Commission on Accreditation of Healthcare Organizations, is a process for identifying the basic or causal factors that underlie variation in performance, including the occurrence or possible occurrence of a sentinel event. Sentinel events include medication errors, patient's suicide, procedure complications, wrong site surgery, treatment delay, restraint death, elopement death, assault or rape, transfusion death, and infant abduction. The purpose of root cause analysis is to go beyond direct and somewhat apparent causes and figure out the underlying reasons for the event. The objective is to force one to think harder about the source of the problem. For example, it is possible that the label was not checked against the armband because the label was missing. Furthermore, it is also possible that the label was missing because the computer was not printing. Then, the root cause is computer malfunction and the direct cause is the failure to check the label against the armband. Exhorting employees to check the armband against the label is a waste of time. If there is no label, to check in the first place. A focus on direct causes may prevent the sentinel event for a while, but sooner or later, the root cause will lead to a sentinel event. We use a set of techniques that have been developed for analysis of Bayesian causal networks to validate root cause analysis. A Bayesian causal network is a mathematical model of the cause and effect relationships and the way that these relationships lead to observed statistical patterns of an event. It consists of a set of nodes, typically pictured as ovals, connected by directed arcs. Each node represents a mutually exclusive and collectively exhaustive set of possible events. For example, Figure 1 shows a Bayesian network with two nodes. The node armband legit legitability has three possible values, exactly one of which must occur and no two can coincide. These states are no armband, poor, and good. The other node, armband checked, has two possible values, OK and not OK. A node with two possible values is called a binary node. Binary nodes are common in root cause analysis. Bayesian networks can also represent indirect causal relationships through the concept of conditional independence. Conditional independencies are identified through examining serial or diverging graphs in causal model so that the removal of the condition would sever the directional flow from the cause to the effect. Let's look at a slightly more complicated set of causes. This figure shows the proposed causes for medication error. Understaffing, fatigue nurse. Understaffing represents the root cause. Fatigue nurse represents the direct cause, while the medication error serves as a sentinel event. These figures illustrate diverging causal structures. As we have seen, a serial structure represents the action of an indirect causal relationship, and a diverging structure represents multiple independent effects of a single cause. In both these cases, the two terminal nodes are conditionally independent of each other given the middle node. Once conditional independencies have been identified, the assumptions can be verified by examining data or by querying experts. If data is available in a series of structure, the correlations between root cause and sentinel event should equal to the correlation between root cause and the direct cause items, the correlation between the direct cause and sentinel event. In a diverging structure, a similar relationship should hold. In particular, correlation between the two effects should be equal to the multiplication of the correlation between the cause and each effect. Let's look at a slightly more complicated set of causes. 
Figure 4 shows four proposed causes for medication error. Understaffing, fatigue nurse, vague communication, and similar medication bottles. Two root causes, understaffing and vague communications, are shown to precede the direct cause, fatigue nurse. Removing the node fatigue nurse would stop the flow from these two root causes to the medication error. Therefore, a conditional independence is assumed. This assumption can be verified either through data or through expert judgments. Let us assume that if we know that the nurse is fatigued, understaffing adds no additional information to probability of medication error. So this independence is verified. But suppose that even when the nurse is not fatigued, vague communications may lead to medication errors. Therefore, the assumption of conditional independence of vague communication and medication error is not met. The causal model behind the root cause analysis can be used to predict the probability of the sentinel event, and this probability can be compared to the intuitions of the investigative team. The probability of sentinel events can be calculated from each of the direct causes, and the probability of direct causes can be calculated from their root causes. Please use the course website to ask a question and rate this lecture. The second part of this lecture will continue with a discussion of Netica.